Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex. I'm a Google developer expert for Firebase and I'm gonna show you in this video how to create a chatbot with Firebase, Firestore and ChatGPT on Android. This is a video for an article that I wrote. Link is in the description below, which was recently published on the Firebase official publication on Medium. So let's begin. If you want to get quick answers from ChatGPT and you don't want to interact with apps that aren't created by you, then stay with me until the end because I will show you how to create your own Android app that interacts with ChatGPT. You'll get the answers to your question almost instantly. So what is really ChatGPT? Hmm, let's ask ChatGPT itself what ChatGPT is. We'll see the answer a bit later. So what will we build? We'll build an Android app that is composed of only two screens. The first screen consists of a single text field where we are asked to type a name and the second one that consists of a list of previous asked questions along with their answers and the text field where we can write a question that can be sent to ChatGPT. In a real world application, I recommend you implement Firebase authentication so each user can have their own questions and answers. There are multiple types of authentication in Firebase, but here are some examples that can help you authenticate your user anonymously using email and password or using a provider such as Google. To keep things simple, in this example, we only use a simple name that is set by the user in the first screen. Right after that, we type a name, we can hit open chat and we can write a question. We can ask GPT any question we want. When we hit send, the question is saved in a document in a Firestore collection called questions. You'll see that the document will contain only three fields, a time step, an added by field which contains a name and the field called prompt that holds the actual question. To get an answer back in the simplest way possible, we'll use a Firebase extension called chatbot with ChatGPT. It only takes a couple of minutes to install the extension and it's really, really easy. Don't forget to get the OpenAI API key and add a payment method. After a successful installation, when a document is saved in Firestore, a cloud function will be triggered and will update the document twice, once with the processing state that will be seen until the operation for getting the response is complete and once with a completed state that indicates that the answer is written inside the document in a field called response. Now let's see how this works in our project. I have my emulator running. Let me type a name. I will type my name and I will hit open chat. As you can see, there are no questions yet. Let me ask ChatGPT a question. What is Firebase? In short, let's hit send and let's see what ChatGPT responds. Oh, Firebase is a widely used mobile and web application development platform that provides developers with a suite, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now let's take a look at our code. So be sure to add the following versions in your build gradle project file and these dependencies in your build gradle module file. Going forward with our application, we have a single activity called main activity, where we create the nav graph and set the soft input mode. Our nav graph looks as simple as this. The request name screen is very simple. And as said before, it only contains a single text field and a button. When we press the button, we get the user input and we navigate further to the chat screen. The content of this screen it's composed of a lazy column that holds the question and the answer, a text field to write the question to ChatGPT and the button. When we press the button, we actually call the set question function that exists inside the chat view model class. Please notice that inside this class, we have an init block that calls the get question function that collects the data from Firestore. Inside the send question function, we call the send question to Firestore function that exists inside the chat repository interface. The implementation of these functions are present inside the chat repository implementation class. And that's pretty much all of it. Now we can ask ChatGPT any question we want. Finally, let's also answer the question, what is ChatGPT? And let's type, 
what is let's hold on for a second ChatGPT is an advanced language model developed by OpenAI. It uses deep learning te techniques to generate human-like test responses. But now let's see how our database looks like. So we have two questions. This is the first one, what is Firebase? And you can see here is the response and here is the second one. In conclusion, that's the simple solution in which we can create our own Android app that connects to ChatGPT using Cloud Firestore and Chatbot with ChatGPT Firebase extension. I hope you find this video useful and if you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free and leave a comment in the section below. So in the end, guys, you can check the entire article on Medium. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. But if you think you learned something new, please subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming. Bye.